powered exoskeletons in science fiction have long promised us superhuman strength, but now it's a reality. Meet the Guardian Exo. The Exo is a wearable robot to help humans safely lift up to 200 pounds without strain or injury. It can amplify your strength by a factor of 20, so 100 pounds feels like five. What are some of the main industries that you expect the EXO to be adopted in? It ranges from construction to manufacturing of automobiles and planes to warehousing and logistics. If you think about it, any job on the planet where humans are having to do physically demanding work, the exoskeleton is a candidate to help out. When people think powered exoskeletons from science fiction, they probably think military applications. Now, is the EXO designed for that or will it be in the future? So the exoskeleton has its roots in the military because the military helped with some of the funding to get us started way back in 2000. But this is not a tactical machine. This is a logistics machine. This is a machine that is intended to allow you to safely lift a lot and do a lot, but it's not intended to be something that's gonna be equipped with armor and to you know, be on the front lines. So what are you feeling right now when everything's powered up? Like what are the sensations? Or does it just feel like you're wearing nothing? Yeah, so because of the sensors in the torso and in the pelvis, the robot really centers itself on you to, to um, put as little weight on you as possible. So when the shoulder straps weigh down on me, it can sense that and it lifts itself back up. And so that's, that's why you can balance really well is because it really follows you wherever you go. So if you stumble, if you catch yourself, then the robot follows that motion and, and catches you. Instead of hands, the EXO lets you swap in different tools called end effectors, like these hooks or claws to help you lift objects. These specifically, they're just aluminum cutouts, right? Um, in a shape that we can use to manipulate objects. So for example, we can pick things up with them, uh, we can move things around with them. So I mean, I can manipulate my end effector to try and lift it up. What I can do is I can just lock the arms and lift it up for myself. Clever. And then I can just <laughs> lift it. So right now it feels probably like 12 pounds in each hand. You know, if, if we were to lift a box, for example, you could feel it compress. Um, so we've, we've amplified the person's strength, but they can still feel um, the nuances of what's happening with the object. Right now, the robot multiplies my strength by about a factor of four. And right here, we have some settings. I can go into what's called heavy lift mode. And so that multiplies my strength by even more. Although I can't use the EXO at the moment, I can see how some of the tech inside it works in isolation. Safety first. All right. Okay. okay, so this is 30 pounds. That's 30 pounds on the end of our arm, yeah. What is your experience right now? Is it a little sluggish? Is it a little... Yeah, it's a little slower than my actual movement of my yeah. arm. It's not super responsive, but it's much lighter than lifting 30 pounds exactly. just on my own. Bring that back down towards your hip and we're gonna to start to amplify everything that you do, all right? Oh, wow. There you go, that and you're is, all the way up. That is responsive, wow. Hi, I'll give you a little wave. So if I get tired, release the trigger and wow. Totally hands-free, right? It just locks it. It feels, so I can feel a slight vibration. This is crazy because 30 pounds would not, it's just not achievable to be able to do this kind of movement without the help of this arm. And then if you had ever had a problem, we would hit the e-stop and it would fall like this. Oh, okay, so it doesn't, so when you hit the e-stop, it doesn't just drop. Now, wh right. why That's is right. that? It's got a safety latch. So we've latch. got some safety mechanisms that when power cuts to the system, we let things fall slowly like that, it sort of melts. So this is the same degree of movement and freedom that I would get in the EXO. Absolutely, absolutely. Now imagine that over your whole body, your arms, your legs, everything being that much stronger. Can you believe it? I will be the bionic woman finally. Absolutely. My dream is true. Perfect. <laughs> All up, the EXO is 300 pounds, but when you're wearing it, it actually only feels like five to 10 pounds because the robot's dealing with all that weight. With 24 degrees of freedom, the EXO can also move just like we do. 
and it runs hot swappable batteries so you can run this thing for around 8 hours at a time. The cost of a machine like this is about $100,000 a year for what we call a robot as a service model. So we will provide it to you for a period of time. Uh, we maintain it, repair it, service it, upgrade it. Um, and if it doesn't perform and show up every day and do its job, you don't pay us. Uh, so we make it very affordable. So as the human operator in a machine like the EXO, it feels like the human is potentially the weakest link. That's a great, a great perception, but I'll tell you, I think the human is actually the strongest link. Okay. Because the human has the intelligence, the instinct, the reflexes to be able to do all the things that we start learning from birth how to do. And the beauty of this machine is you don't have to think about wearing it or operating it. It just naturally flows with you. You know, machines are very good at doing something with a lot of precision. Better than humans, in some instances, for precision. So if you think about being able to have the precision of a machine partnered with the intelligence of a human so that you can get just that extra level of precision in a free form movement, like using a saw to cut a straight line, I think that's where the real opportunity is for us in the future. We're focused on how one plus one can equal three or five or 10, where you take the best of both worlds, the best of what humans have to offer, which I think is our intelligence, coupled with the precision, strength, and endurance of machines. Now all you need to do is strap some jetpacks to this and it becomes the true Iron Man suit. You do realize this has to be your next project. I'll, I'll respectfully <laughs> decline to comment on that one. <laughs>So these covers are actually going to be on the finished version, so they're going to give it a more polished look than the guts that you saw of the EXO, but it's actually kind of cool. You guys got a sneak peek of everything that's inside before it gets finished off with these covers, and it's going to look more like this when it ships, very Transformers-like. And the EXO is going to be available in January 2020 with the first units being shipped to customers in alpha form and to the military. Thanks so much for watching Beta Test. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and make sure to stay tuned for more cool robots and exoskeletons. I feel so badass right now. This is amazing.